This video is sponsored by the Airline Project NextGen. With twin-engine jets becoming the norm these days, we thought we'd take a look and see how far a modern twin-engine airliner can fly on one engine. Until not that long ago, transoceanic flights were nearly always flown with aircraft with four engines. This was because when it comes to how many engines a plane has, there's safety in numbers. If one engine was to fail, you still had three others to get you to your destination, or at least to a diversion airport. As modern turbofan engines have developed, their reliability has led to far fewer engine failures. As a result of this, airlines have rapidly adapted to the new fuel-efficient jets and are replacing thirsty aircraft like the Boeing 747, Airbus A340 and the Airbus A380. This video is sponsored by the Airline Project NextGen, an exciting new hyper-realistic airline simulation game that allows you to build your business with real-world factors in mind. Starting an airline in the 1940s, the technology and political boundaries will be accurate for the time period and will adjust as you move forward. This game is so realistic that you can choose to work within limitations such as airport curfews and noise limits, ETOPS regulations and freedoms of the air. Full control over your airline includes route planning and aircraft scheduling, right down to the type of engines you want for your Boeing 747 or Airbus A330. The Simple Flying team is thrilled to partner with this crowdfunding campaign, and we hope you'll join us in backing this game. Support this great project and get your own digital copy for as little as 15 euros by clicking the link below. Please be aware that there's only one week left on this amazing crowdfunding campaign, so act fast! While engine failures these days are rare, they still happen from time to time. However, passengers don't need to worry, as aviation regulations mandate certain levels of reliability for longer routes. Modern jets must be able to safely fly on one engine for a minimum amount of time to make an emergency landing. Before a twin-engine plane is allowed to fly routes over oceans or sparsely inhabited areas like the Arctic, they must first be certified by the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, for ETOPS. ETOPS stands for Extended Range Twin-Engine Operational Performance Standards. It's a certification that permits twin-engine aircraft to fly routes which may be an hour or more flying time from the closest airport where the plane can land safely. When the twin-engine aircraft is certified, part of its assessment is based on how long it can fly on a single engine. To put it into actual time, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner is certified for ETOPS 330. This means that the plane can fly on routes that take it 330 minutes or five and a half hours from the nearest suitable airport for landing. The Boeing 777 is also certified for ETOPS 330, while the popular aging Boeing 767 only gets a 180 minute or three hours ETOPS certification. As for Airbus and its modern twin-engine jets, the relatively new A330neo has a European Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA, ETOPS rating of beyond 180 minutes and the option to increase this to ETOPS 285. This means that the A330neo can fly 2,000 nautical miles on a single engine. The ETOPS rating for the Airbus A350 is a massive 370 minutes. This means that the A350 can, in theory, fly for six and a quarter hours on one engine. In the not-too-distant future, it's likely that several airlines will start flying narrow-body aircraft like the Airbus A321LR on transatlantic routes as it has an ETOPS rating of 180 minutes. While not often used for ocean crossings, the Boeing 737-800 and MAX are certified with an ETOPS rating of 180 minutes, meaning airlines like Southwest can now use them to fly from the United States mainland to Hawaii. So, to answer the main question of our video in another way, if the aircraft is cruising at 575 miles or 925 kilometers per hour, then assuming its speed is maintained, jets rated ETOPS 180 should be able to fly about 1,700 miles or 2,740 kilometers on one engine. Meanwhile, a jet rated to ETOPS 330 should be able to fly around 3,100 miles or 5,000 kilometers. Have you ever been on a plane that's lost power in one engine? If so, tell us about the experience in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching.
and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.